Hey lovely ones. Oh my God, I'm very excited. It has been over two years since I have done a video. And a lot of that has come down to the fact that I became a mother, most of you might know that. And I have been incredibly exhausted. Um, it, I've gone to shoot a video on so many occasions and my body has just basically said, no, you can't do it. I've barely been able to string a sentence together. And this is the first time in what seems like a decade, although it's only two years, uh, that I've really felt that I'm able to share um, what I'm here to do and what I'm here to teach and inspire. So today I'm going to talk to you about how to really hold space for yourself during really freaking turbulent times so that you can truly rock your life. So what tends to happen with us all is that when a lot of emotions coming up and uh, things seem really, really turbulent, we can tend to freak out because we haven't been taught how to really honor where we're at, what we're feeling and our emotions and how to really deeply process them. And what I mean by that is to hold space. So what is holding space all about? Holding space allows you to, instead of moving towards a kind of complete freak out and meltdown, you're able to look at what's happening, see and appreciate what you're feeling in a really kind and loving way without judgment, which is really important because myself included, we can tend to criticize, bully, uh, shame ourselves for feeling what we're feeling and experiencing. For me personally, over the last few weeks, a lot of old emotion that I thought I'd kind of really dealt with came up to be looked at and addressed. And I could have really shamed myself and said, well, why is this coming up? And I, I, I kind of did a little. I really um, felt like I should be further along and further ahead. But, um, you know, we've all heard of that analogy, like peeling back the onion and going deeper and deeper and deeper. And I stopped myself and I asked myself a really important question, which you can do right now. And that is, what if, what if right now, the universe, your spirit and life is calling you to do a deeper healing, to go deeper and to really learn from what you're feeling right now? And what if the universe and life and your divinity was encouraging you to up level and up grade and improve your life at a deeper level. And maybe right now is the exact time that you're actually ready for it. So if the universe and life is conspiring to truly support you and the, this emotion is rising to be looked at, to be um, sort of looked at with a sense of curiosity and not judgment and not harshness, how would that be for you? So a quick question that you can ask yourself right now is, what do I need to learn? What do I need to see? What in my life am I carrying that is heavy and draining and burdensome that I no longer need to carry anymore? Okay, so write it down. Have a really deep think about it. A really great way to connect with the truth and of what you're feeling and to be really authentic and to garner the awareness that we need to become more conscious is a really um, simple step and process that I use with my clients and also with myself. And you can simply just put your hand in your heart and ask yourself that question. What do I need to know? What do I need to see? And I'll let that answer rise in you. It may come immediately. Don't analyze it. Uh, it might just come as a word, a feeling. You may need to call someone. You may need to have a really honest, uh, powerful conversation, a fearless conversation with someone that you deeply love. I know in my own life and marriage, I've needed to have some really deep, juicy conversations because we've both grown so much and changed so much over the, over the last two years, especially becoming parents. I become a lot more abundant. I'm redefining how I want to live as a woman, as a partner, as a mother. Um, so everything within me is changing and my desires have shifted and changed. And therefore we cannot um, not have transformation, not only in our own lives within ourselves, but within our relationships. And it does require 
really deep, uh, fearless, open conversations so that together you can learn and grow and shift things so that you can create more harmony, abundance and joy. Because I don't know about you, but I don't know, right now I'm being called to completely let go of stuff that just doesn't serve me. I want a more juicy, a rich, abundant life. It needs to be light. It needs to be playful. I've had to work with releasing uh, a lot of force in my life, working with pushing rather than being playful and allowing things to come to me. Also be really, really careful, which is something that I've tended to do. Excuse me, I'm <laughs> sorry, a bit G. Um, I try to sometimes overanalyze and think through solutions. Uh, one quote that I came up with recently was, instead of um, my husband's asking me to be faster and I've lost my train of thought and I'm not going to go faster. I'm going to take my time and I'm going to be present with you. And if you choose not to watch the rest of this video because you find it not valuable or boring or whatever, that's your choice or good. I hope that you do enjoy it. So please bear with me and continue. And I'm just going to go with my own stream of consciousness. So I'm coming back to the video. Uh, I think when we try to overly think and process things too much also in our head, we tend to overwhelm ourselves. So it's so important to come back to your heart, to come back to your soul and to trust that the solution will come. Not don't try to overforce it, overthink it. It's like um, becomes almost like an aggressive attempt at transformation. Uh, I've had to learn this really deeply, and I'm still learning it. So, what we need to do is to move more into being really clear on how we want to live, how we want to feel, how we want our finances to be, our relationship with spirituality, our relationship with our loved ones. And we need to focus on that and then uh, we need to allow it to come. And then the how takes care of itself. So focus on allowing, focus on feeling into that which you desire, but don't try to figure it out because we don't have all the answers and they will come to you. You are supported. Really other very important um, premise and philosophy that I encourage my clients to really truly follow and it's helped me profoundly in my life through uh, my struggle and adversity but now I live with this as a daily ritual and that is my deep deep connection to the divine and to my spiritual life and to making sure that you know I don't feel alone I'm not alone you're not alone we have each other we have our higher senses we have our connection to source energy we have our connection to divinity in seconds just ask the divine in any second if you're struggling if you're feeling overwhelmed by emotion show me the way state a command, not an affirmation. If you don't believe in something, sometimes affirmations can, can be really hard to fully commit to because there's the inner voice of self-doubt that can rise up. So I prefer to chant mantras or commands. I'm commanding the universe. I'm commanding myself to go to a new way of thinking, a higher way of thinking, a, a way of thinking that cultivates love and releases fear, which is really what a miracle is all about. So with a command, I just ask for what I want to receive as it's already come. There's a deep sense of trust. So if you're feeling that emotional angst, you're overwhelmed, ch chant a command just like this. You can write your own, but just say something as simple as, I trust it all as well. I am manifesting the most divine, loving, beautiful experience. I am deeply grateful for all that I have. And right now I'm going to rest in knowing that whatever I desire is coming with ease and grace. Thank you. Thank you. So I love that because it's like, a, it's like an ask. It's like a conversation with your higher self and the universe. And it feels really, for me, it gives me a great sense of peace and gentleness. But just remember, you're never alone. Also, we must be really truthful and honest with ourselves. You can't expect to just chant that command one time. You have to live as this is like part of your daily life, like brushing your teeth, it has to become a ritual for you, uh, a sacred way that you connect with the universe, you connect with yourself, you live in a sense of prayer, always checking in, always communicating your clear intention and your desires, asking for help, not going it alone, because going it alone, uh, for me personally, just creates a lot of struggle, a sense of separation, 
and we're really all in this together. So work with the energies, work with life, work with the universe and start to have a beautiful, juicy relationship with your higher self and with divinity by asking and calling out uh, for what you truly desire. So to round up, I think it's really important to practice complete and utter self-care during this time when the going gets tough, the tough get going, right? So we can have a tendency to want to medicate ourselves, whether it's in excessive amounts of TV, social media, drugs, alcohol, uh, sugar. For me personally, when um, I'm going through a turbulent time, I really need to up the ante on all my sensual self-care rituals. So whether that's bars and Epsom salts, you know, taking rescue remedy or emergency essence in my water every day, making sure that I go to bed early, asking for support, checking in, uh, doing just some deep, beautiful breathing techniques throughout the day, watching my breath, making sure that it's not really sharp and in my chest, but in my belly. These are all rituals uh, and acts of self-love and self-care that really support me during turbulent times. And it makes me um, feel nourished and supported in my transition. Okay, so to just finalise, what if, once again, this time is a time for you to rise up? There's a lot of chaos in the world. There's a lot of turbulence. There's a lot of, you know, really funky energies out there. But you know what? It's a choice to struggle. It's a choice to completely buy into that. If you want to create your own version of utopia, it's going to come down to you rising up, deciding that you want more, shifting the way you relate to stress and emotion and other people's stuff and stay in love. And you, only, you can only do that. I mean, from my own experience, this is coming from my understanding. The only way we can do that is to practice being self-loving, to practice having intimate relationships where we hear ourselves and hear our loved ones or our, you know, even in our business relationships and our personal relationships. It's to be able to look within and see what we most need um, and to be really present with ourselves. So I hope that I've given you a few tips um, and that you know, that you can really just trust that this is a time for you to radically heal and change your life. Um, I'll let you know, I was feeling pretty sick a few weeks ago. I had, you know, a really sore head and I never get headaches. I felt incredibly weak. And it's been about two weeks uh, since that time and I'm feeling kind of fierce. So I'm feeling, you know, a little bit still fragile in my body, like the energy completely isn't there, but it's making me a lot more mindful um, of where I put my energy, how I work with my energy, how I work with my emotion. Um, but it is making me incredibly uh, diligent and passionate about being honest with myself about what I need to live a juicier, richer and abundant life. And it's creating radical change. It's not completely easy. It has been challenging for me, but um, it's completely worth it. So I didn't mean to cry, <laughs> but um, if we can have the courage to change our lives, even though it's uncomfortable and it can be scary and it can push you in all sorts of ways that is just can be really hard it's so worth it because I feel like a new person. I feel like I'm finally completely reclaiming parts of myself that I've either denied or forgotten, um, not listened to, um, you know, and we teach people how to treat us. We teach people how to treat us by the way we treat ourselves. So, you know, use this time. Don't run away from it. Tap in, hear yourself, be kind, be patient to yourself. Be patient with the people that you love because we're all going through it. We're all being called to do the work and to show up, okay? So sending you lots of love. Uh, I didn't mention my name at the beginning of the video because I didn't want to stop the flow, but it's Ingridana from ingridana.com. Sending you lots of love and I'll speak to you soon. Ciao.